Welcome to Close Up on America's Business, the program that takes you inside some of the most unique and successful companies in America. I'm Jim Masters. On each edition of our show, we introduce you to some of the most innovative business leaders in the country today. You'll discover what their products, services, technologies, and business models can do for you, what they're doing to change our world and change the way we do business. Trust is the most important thing in a relationship between an expectant mother and her OBGYN. There are many issues to be discussed that are personal or sensitive in nature. The physician must trust the patient. The patient must trust the physician. Unfortunately, for many women, such a relationship does not exist with a gynecologist. However, such is not the case at Women's Integrated Healthcare. It is pretty magic here. But I think one of the things that as we expand, we're going to have to look for is just the relationships of the physicians. That's really what makes this place special is how we interact with each other and looking for the right personalities to fit in together to have fun and to take really good care of patients as well. Serving the community of Grapevine, Texas in the heart of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, Women's Integrated Healthcare specializes in obstetrics and gynecology with a unique commitment to personalized care. We trained together in residency far before even being in private practice together. So we already kind of knew what, what strengths we had, what desires we had, what our drives were. And we really thought that we could put together a practice where we could sh showcase those strengths. We knew some things that we didn't like as far as what worked in practices and what didn't. We wanted to avoid those things and really bring together some ideas that we found unique as being women and as more importantly being mothers and we thought we could bring those ideas together and build a practice on that. The six of us all come together and, and have similar personalities and similar interests and we have families and I think that's what makes it successful is that we all have a similar goal. We want to spend time with our families yet we want to take good care of patients and that's why it's worked so well. I think in some other practices in medicine when you get people who don't have the same ideals and they don't have the same goals and they don't have the same idea of what a work day is or what a being on call is or what a, a fair system is sometimes then that's when you get discordance. We all have similar expectations. We all want to work hard and then we all want to go home and enjoy ourselves. The people at Women Integrated Healthcare deal with women's issues and the kind of health problems that women have and most of the doctors have either experienced it themselves or they have a very good knowledge of what you might be feeling and I think it's just something a man can probably not understand. I mean, when, you have, when you're pregnant and you're going through certain pregnancy things, a woman's going to understand that. I mean, they've, most of the doctors here have been pregnant and they know what you're talking about and they can better answer your question. And I think it helps with a kind of a trust level. I mean, you can trust that they know what they're doing. And not, not to say that there isn't many good doctors out there that are males, but I feel more comfortable knowing that this is somebody who's been through what I'm going through. Over and above the fact that you're all women, what is it that really sets this group apart and makes it so unique? One is that we do communicate with each other, so we know each other's patients very well, so that really does help when transitioning with call over the weekends and in the evenings. I see a patient and it's Dr. Coltsman's patient and she's told me all about her, so I know her and that makes the patients feel more comfortable. We all enjoy what we do and I think that's really important, so we are usually all very happy like coming to work and that makes it you know a very nice environment to practice I and mean, also makes it nice for the patients when you enjoy what you do mostly our patients like the physicians a lot of times and they enjoy our staff that when they come to the practice they get a smile they get comfort and so that's they do enjoy that they get attached to us and they pay attention to what things have gone on with us they follow things that go on in our lives and with our assistants and the staff as well I liked the surgical aspect of it because you get to interact in that kind of a level and you get to actually go in there and fix something and there's something that's extremely rewarding and seeing a problem and fixing it immediately. So I really enjoyed that. I also really like the clinical and the continuity of care aspect of OBGYN. Getting to see the same women again and again, you know, year after year and being able to watch them grow as they have children and as the children grow. So I've really enjoyed that about it. And then also just being able to be a part of that intimate part of people's lives where they allow you to be a part of that 
delivery experience that was just amazing and something that you can't get anywhere else. What are the advantages of having your practice in a large metropolitan area like the Dallas-Fort Worth area? I think as far as being in a major metropolitan area, the advantages are numerous. First of all, we know that we are going to be able to offer great care to these patients. We are on the foremost edge of cutting technology. We've got all of those kind of tools at our disposal, so our patients are getting the most extreme technology that's available out there. We also are able to care for our patients in every sense of the word. If I don't have a skill that's available, there is going to be a physician or a subspecialist who is available who can then help. And there will be those subspecialists available in our hospital, so we don't have to worry about transferring them to another city or something like that. So we are able to take very good and complete care of the patients. What I bring to this practice that's unique, probably the most obvious thing, is that I speak Spanish. I am Hispanic, and some of the other doctors do speak a little bit of Spanish, but I'm completely fluent, and so I feel very comfortable dealing with patients who, who speak only Spanish. Many people think that having an experienced physician is the best thing that you can do, and while that certainly is important, sometimes the longer you're out of training, you lose touch a little bit with the latest advances, the latest studies on what really is the best thing to do, what's been proven to work. So I think by continually bringing in new people, it helps to, to keep the entire practice abreast of what's current. Talk with me, if you might, about the rewards of being an OBGYN. It really is about helping the patient. And again, it's part of the philosophy in this practice is that that is the primary goal. There's nothing more satisfying than helping a patient, particularly one who may be afraid, who doesn't understand what they're going through, and to be able to explain it to them in a way that they understand and help them to make the best decision. Because it's a team effort. Things are different today than they were 30 years ago. I think previously it was much more common for physicians to make the decisions and tell the patient what was going to happen, and that's not the case today. It's a collaborative effort, and I think that there's a lot of satisfaction that comes from that for the physician that we actually get to spend that time educating the patient and helping them to make the best decision for them and making it together. I started signing up for the robotic courses, took my robotic course and did my first couple robotic hysterectomies and I was amazed at how much better the patients did. They have less blood loss, there's less tissue trauma which I think really lends to their recovery process. I had one of my older patients who has a couple of underlying health problems go back to work on post-op day six. I never thought I would send a hysterectomy back to work on post-op day six. They feel better, they recover faster. It's a fun time in my career, having been doing this for almost 20 years, to have a new tool and to be able to do, to do something new that's, that's good for the patients, fun for me, and, and interesting as well. What is it that you maybe take the most pride in when it comes to being an OBGYN? With every patient, physician relationship, it can, it, it's different and what one patient needs is not what another one needs and I think to be a really successful physician you have to be able to read the patients, determine what it is that they need, not just clinically and physically but also emotionally, spiritually and be able to help foster that as you go through the process of whatever you're taking care of them for. Reporting from Grapevine, Texas, I'm Scott Murray for Close Up TV News. That concludes this edition of Close Up on America's Business. If you'd like more information about any of the companies featured on today's show, please visit our website at CloseUpTVNews.com. I'm Jim Masters. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.